Hello and welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed the calla lilies that we just did. And now I'm going to show you how to do some daisies. These ones are really fun. You can do them in any color that you want. I'm just going to do some white ones for you today. But it's kind of fun to, to work, maybe do some black and pink ones or some purple ones or just have fun with them and do some fun colors. So we're going to take our fondant and gum paste mix that we already had from earlier. We're going to roll it out. Again, probably about the thickness of a dime. It really depends on how thick you want your daisies. You can have some fun with a thicker one or you can do a really thin one like we're going to do today. So there are several different cutters that you can use. Um, any kind of daisy shape, you can use those. I know I really like this one that I got in one of my Wilton kits a long time ago. It's probably one of the first ones that they did. It has more leaves on it with, or more petals on it, which I really like. Um, there's a newer one that just has fewer. You know, you can choose a whole bunch of different ones. They even have a Gerber daisy one, and I really like these ones with the plungers in them because then you cut it out and then you can stick the little plunger and it'll pop it out for you. You don't have to worry about it getting stuck inside of your little cutter. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. So you just want to push hard. I kind of like to wiggle them back and forth just a little bit to make sure that I've got everything cut and then I'm going to release it and yay it stayed on my mat instead of getting stuck in my cutter which is really nice. So we are going to put this aside, wrapped up. And now we're going to shape our daisy and you're going to be shocked at just how quickly this can be done. So we'll take our thin foam again We'll put that on there and sometimes if you need to you can dust a little bit of powdered sugar on your your thin foam if your fondant or gum paste is a little sticky it might actually stick to your foam while you're working on it so you can dust it with some powdered sugar to make sure it doesn't stick on there and again I'm just going to use my ball and veining tool the other side of this ball tool has is called a veining tool it has a little hook on it right here and you can just push down on it really nicely and make some vein marks for leaves and things like that. So we're going to start by pushing on the tip of our petal and you're just going to push down lightly and draw it towards you. And I hope you can see just how cool this is. It's curling right up and creating a nice little cupped flower for you. Of course it's going to fall back down again just from the weight of the fondant which is just fine. but. It's really neat when you first do it, kind of curls up for you. And if your fondant and gum paste is a little on the dry side, usually it stays just like that. So now we've got our little daisy shape veined here. And next you're going to take some flower formers and put them in there or you can use um, like egg cartons, you can use tissues, things like that. I they Wilton just came out with these little kind of flower formers that I really like. They've got a hole in the middle to help let air in the bottom and they'll dry on the top so they're really cool. Uh, they've got two different sizes, a bigger one and a smaller one. Of course for bigger flowers you would use the bigger one and for smaller flowers you would use the smaller one. Unless you want your bigger flowers to have um, to be cupped closed a little bit more. I don't know if that makes sense but yeah just be closed up a little bit more then you would use the smaller one but we're going to use our bigger one today and you just set it in there just like that and it's going to be set to dry for a little bit and then you can do your centerpiece which is just a little round dot and you can buy you know a little round cutter if you want I just use my cake tips and I just cut out a little circle which works out really great and then we're going to paint some vanilla in the center of our daisy here just a little bit and put our yellow dot right in the center like that and so now we have our cute little white daisy with the little yellow center in it. You can double these up if you want. Um, there's several different sizes especially this set that I really prefer has a smaller one and so you can double them up so it looks a little bit fuller. You can use the same size and double those up again to make it look fuller if you want but you can just let it be one layer and that would work out just great. So now that we've done our daisy, which was super fast, we're going to move on to our pansy and that'll be it.